Welcome to The Buzz, where we bring you leaders in dental education discussing hot topic courses and industry trends. I'm your host, Vanessa Emerson, founder of Dental Speakers Bureau, and today I'm interviewing Sandy Baird. Welcome to The Buzz, Sandy. Well, thank you, Vanessa. It's a pleasure to be here. Sandy has earned a master's in business administration, and she also has over 35 years experience in dental practice management. Whether it is in office, from the platform, or on the phone, her goals are to reduce practice stress, risks, and inefficiencies. Today we're gonna to be talking about her course, OSHA in the Dental Office, Safety Doesn't Happen by Accident. Love that title. And <laughs> Sandy, I'm just gonna jump right on into the thick of this with you to say, I think there's an elephant in the room. I think that when we think OSHA, we don't necessarily think, yay, I'm so excited. So yeah. how do you uh, combat that in your courses? You know, tell us a little bit about your course and, and um, what would make your course um, um, interesting and one that attendees would want to uh, attend? Well, I kind of turn it into a team activity. There's a lot of learning, of course. We focus on everything that you need to know in ocean we and i was actually working first started working my husband and i together we before osha hit so he was doing bare-handed dentistry so i've been through the entire learning process of osha which has been interesting and i know how everybody feels about it so i try to change that impression i try to change that experience i make it a team kind of um activity, brainstorming, contributing, playing games and activities. And oh, it, it just makes it so much more fun because it is dry and it is miserable, but you have to do it. You just have to do it. And it's a lot more fun with my course if you bring the entire team because instead of just one person, because it, everybody gets it. You, not only do you do uh, OSHA, but you also do team building in this in these activities i do there's a lot of team building that goes on so um i try to get that pink elephant and just just throw it out of the circle so we can learn and have fun and laugh as well as pick up on some important tips for oh OSHA. that's fabulous um and i love that it's a team building opportunity i wouldn't naturally think of putting those two together but of course then that's a good marriage with your many years practice management experience and leading teams so that makes that makes sense that you'd be um one to offer that and as as is evident in our conversation you've, you've got a, a naturally high energy real fun personality and i can imagine that you bring that uh, from the platform for this um uh, this particular topic. Now, I do work. I work hard on it because because I do know how how hard it is to go to those. Mm -hmm. Now, um, so tell us a little bit more about the course. I, I don't know that much about this topic other than what I picked up over the years from the side. And I understand it's a, one of those required courses. So could you just give us kind of a high level view? What do we cover? And roughly, you know, how long does it take for this course typically? How many uh, three hours. hours. Three hours is really a minimum for this course uh, okay. in order to cover everything that OSHA requires being covered for your annual review. Um, so yes, I like to look at it from the perspective of somebody walking into your office, an inspector, an OSHA inspector walking into your office. What is that person going to want to see? What questions are they going to ask? What documentation do you need to have? How does it need to be presented? Who needs to be knowledgeable about where it is and how it works? So I like to pretend like an, a, you know, an, an inspector is coming into your office. So I present the materials in that way, which touches on everything. And then when we start doing the team activity, we get into lots of little details about, you know, materials and processes and labeling and all that stuff. But so I try to kind of make sure the basics are covered, but also new details and new information. 
Well, that sounds wonderful. Um, thank you for so much for um, sharing that with us and uh, uh, highlighting um, what is covered in the course and, the, and that environment that we can learn in, in your courses. Is there anything else we can think of that we maybe haven't covered yet? I mean, as far as like, um, we talked about interaction, we talked about the length and, and who it's appropriate for. We love to have full teams, but at the very least, we want the person who is the, is the OSHA coordinator. Is that OSHA the officer. Yeah, the OSHA officer. OSHA right. officer. Right. Um, right. Is there anything else you can think of, or do we get pretty much hit it? You pretty much hit it, I think. I think you pretty much hit it, yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us, Sandy, about your course, OSHA in the Dental Office, Safety Doesn't Happen by Accident. And for the event planner, you can learn more about Sandy's courses. Um, she also offers a HIPAA course, which we will also have a video on, and, and a practice management course, and um, also on embezzlement um, and self-managed teams. So there are multiple options to choose from um, if you were to bring her for more than one presentation. And you can learn more about that at dentalspeakersbureau.com. Uh, where you'll find Sandy Baird listed. Her contact information is there, or if you'd like to reach out with info at dentalspeakersbureau.com, we'd be happy to connect you. Thanks again for tuning in to watch this episode of The Buzz. Thanks for being here, Sandy. Thank you, Vanessa. And until next time, be well.